This theory on magic came to me today as several factors converge on one another. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call this my theory on magic, but I'm not sure how long I'll believe this based on my ever-expanding path, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, my theory on magic is the force of one's soul's relation to other souls and everything else. That's what magic is. Now, magic kind of diverges into two paths. One is pre-existing. Uh, we employ the, ex the existing force of our soul's relation to everything else and other souls. Um, and then there's another section, and that is creative, potential. Now, that potential magic is what, our, what the force can do once we, once we decide that we should take it into a whole other way, a whole other kind of chaotic way. You can say chaos magic. Um, and decide to create something entirely unique and employ that force in an entirely unique way. Now, when we employ the force in the existing ways, that there are already these channels of action, there are already these channels of possibility that have been laid down either by the circumstances that we're in or our past actions. Uh, and all of this is in relation to, of course, every other soul and everything in existence. So if we're using something, channels that are already there to, to employ our, our magic, our, our force, uh, our specific and unique relation to everything else, um, and ultimately souls behind everything, but basically our relation to every other soul. Now I say existence as well and not just put soul behind everything in the original comment because when it comes down to it, it's very hard for us to picture soul being behind everything. Is it behind space? Is it behind? Uh, it's easier to uh, to think of it as behind like minerals and plants and animals and humans and uh, planets and their relation. But it's very hard for us to think of soul as being behind space, behind time. So I like to kind of separate those two um, things in existence as far as actual like material things or things composed of material and energy and ultimately all material is just a it's a lower vibrating uh energy but anything that is tangible and the souls that are within every every thing that is tangible now that any employing employing anything that has already been uh, employed before uh as far as using your own force uh and going along the channels that have already been applied in kind of the ether um, that is existing magic. Um, create, creative or potential magic is making your own channels. Deciding that based on certain aspects of yourself and your unique mission that you've taken up, you decide to create um, maybe a new spell, maybe a new way of casting spells, maybe a new way of understanding yourself and relating to yourself, relating to your own soul. And creating a new form of magic that is particularly unique to you. That can be potential magic. Creative magic. And the existing magic can be very similar to ceremonial magic. Whereas this potential magic is, is chaos magic. Um, now chaos magic, it may, for those of you who don't, under, you know, don't know much about chaos magic, um, it, may sound, it may sound bad, it may sound evil, but really chaos magic is just a very unique way of deploying magic uh, from, your, from your own force, uh, your own magical force. Uh, and that force I'm saying in this theory is one's relation to every, every other, one's soul's relation to every other soul and everything else. And there is force behind that relation. There is force in relativity. There is force in, in perspective, whether it be microcosmic, looking at yourself in pieces, or macrocosmic, looking at everything else and the small piece that we are. So, thinking about magic in these two different spots, uh, existing and potential, um, we have to decide what will, we, what will we burn and what will we keep. What I mean by this is, what teachings will we discard? What ideas about magic will we discard and throw away? And which ones will we embrace and continue and support within our own practice, our own magical practice? Which ones will we make a part of ourselves, part of our, our forces deployment, the force of magic? And this is very important for occultists or magicians or spiritualists in general, anybody who deals with magic and considers magic as a thing that they deal with because you have to refer to magic in some way, even if you call it something else, in order to use it. 
even if you don't call it anything at all, and it's completely just a feeling. You have to kind of refer to it in some way in order to be able to decide if you should employ it along existing channels or uh, create new channels and new ideas and new forms of your own force. That is magic. Um, hey, this is going to be a short video. I uh, have been pretty busy recently, and, and um, to be honest, uh, I'm really proud to have a break from, uh, from college for now and uh, just work and lift weights and make these videos and uh, go along my spiritual path. So I'm going to enjoy that tonight and make a slightly uh, shorter video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been interesting. If you like this video at all, hit that thumbs up down there. It really helps out the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or you just want to continue this debate, and really this theory is for the debate. I want to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm becoming dogmatic on this theory that just dawned upon me today. That's not what I'm saying. My, my opinion will evolve. My understanding will evolve, and it should. Everybody's understanding should evolve. But uh, So shoot down any discussionary topics about what I've said in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. And uh, hey, y'all have a great day, and how will you deploy your own force that is your magic?